K35GG is a standard controller. The GG refers to the fact that it has what's called a ratchet switch at the bottom. There are five points in series. One, two, three, four, five. And three points in parallel. One, two, three. The car normally is meant to be operated in the so-called long points. Full series, full parallel. Down at the bottom of this controller is a very important thing called the ratchet switch. That is what controls whether the line switch underneath the car is closed or open. The ratchet switch comes in when there's a forward motion on the controller. The first point has two indications. One that you feel, they call it a false point, and then you get into the point of resistance itself. The way I think of it is a click. When you turn a controller on, the first actual point is what we call a false point. It's not a term used anywhere else, but it's when the fingertips actually touch the segments, but it's not a good electrical contract. You have to move the controller just slightly more, and it will fall into what's called a notch, which is the operating position. If you back off slowly from first point, the line switch does not drop out, which means you're breaking the current at the fingertips, which causes damage, burning, wear, and so forth. However, if you go to second point, one, two, then back off, the line switch breaks the current before it breaks at the segments. If you operate a car equipped with a ratchet switch, such as 5821 or 639, your operation is a little bit counterintuitive compared to one like 303 or 1267, which don't have ratchet switches. You advance to the second notch before you shut off. One, two, off. That will ensure that the line switch drops out properly and reduces the amount of arcing that's within the controller itself, period.